According to the legend, this was what Galileo noticed here in Pisa Cathedral one day in 1581. Out of curiosity, he timed the length of the swing on his pulse, and he noticed that the length of time it took the lamp to swing was exactly the same, whether it was a big swing or, as the swing lessened, a little swing. In other words, it was an extremely accurate unit of measurement. So what happens next? Well, nothing. That's partly because Galileo is busy becoming a genius in physics and mathematics and astronomy, alienating his academic colleagues, and struggling with money. But this seed won't actually bear fruit for almost 60 years, because right now, no one actually needs an accurate clock. And this is the interesting thing about great ideas. Just like plants, they often need the right set of conditions to flourish. So this insight is just parked in a corner of Galileo's brain. That is, until a new set of conditions come along, which, luckily for Galileo, are backed up by a whole heap of cash. In 1598, King Philip III of Spain grabs the attention of every scientist in Europe by offering a life pension in ducats to anyone who can solve the greatest scientific challenge of the age, a way to measure longitude. Ooh, oh boy. Ships in Galileo's day were sailing blind over vast new distances and frequently meeting with disaster. For the new world to be conquered, something had to be done. So this challenge, accompanied by a fat reward, is looking good to Galileo, who's now a father of three illegitimate children. The memory of the pendulum is yet to surface because by now Galileo is completely obsessed by astronomy and the new invention of the telescope. In 1610, he discovers that Jupiter has its own orbiting moons, which eclipse in a regular and predictable way. So if Jupiter was the center for its moons, that blew the idea that the Earth was the center of everything. When Galileo published what he thought, the result was the Inquisition and house arrest until the day he died. But staring at the heavens reminds him of gazing up inside the cathedral. Those swinging altar lamps. The pendulum experiment of equal time. The desperate need for an accurate timekeeper. And bingo, Galileo finally realizes that a pendulum could be used to regulate clocks. So this is what he comes up with. A design for a perfect swinging pendulum. Its beats are equal and it can be used to control the hands of the clock. It's a revolutionary idea. But Galileo is now near the end of his life and doesn't get the chance to test it at sea.